Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a stamina GUI. So to get started, go over here and add a screen GUI. You can name it whatever you want. I'll just name it um, stamina, and then um, add a frame inside of it. This will be the main frame. Um, name it sprint. Now it has to be named sprint, or else you'll have to change the script in order for it to work. Um, you can um, customize it however you want but this will be like the main bar so just customize it however you want I'm going to make mine about hmm, a little bit smaller than this about this big try to center it okay and then inside of it add another um, frame I'm gonna color it a light blue color, go like this, and then of course I'll size it. This can also be sized however you want, but I would recommend to make it the same size as the actual main bar. That way it looks better. And rename this to bar. Inside of this, add a text label. Of course, this doesn't really matter. This is just gonna say stamina, so it doesn't really matter how it is. Or what it looks like but of course you can customize it however you want it doesn't have to be there it's not like a um, necessary for it to work so if you don't want it just take it out but I prefer it because it makes it look better all right now I just let me change the background color to um, ooh, background transparency to win and then that's that now you want to add a local script into this star UI and this will be our script handler and of course the script is in the description of the video just click the paste bin link and you should find it and I'll try to explain it up here is the variables of course this gets the user input surface the bar the player and then these are like the ones that you may want to change this is the normal walk speed the default for Roblox is 16 but it can be changed so if you change it I mean if you change it make sure that you also change this this will be the new walk speed, or the walk speed after um, they press shift. So once they press shift, their walk speed will turn to whatever this number is. I have it set as 25, but you can change that however you want. This just grabs the character, and this is just a variable to see whether the players are running or not. So down here is our functions. This just says that whenever they press um, left shift, makes their walk speed go up and the bar go down. And then, oop, did I change something? No. And then, of course, this just whenever um, they're not running, it makes it stop running. And the walk speed goes back to 16. So that's basically everything for the script. And let's try it out. As you can see, while we are running, the stamina bar goes down, and if we just keep waiting, our walk speed is 25, and we can check this by going in here, humanoid, scrolling down, and then you can see our um, walk speed right here. There's 25, once I let go, it turns back to 16. But as you can see, whenever the stamina goes all the way down, it will my walk speed will turn to 16. Um, let it go down. Okay, now my walk speed is 16. And then it will stay 16 until I have enough to start running again. 